Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 24 of our series of session on Tally's release 3.0, where we are covering GST module. So in the previous sessions, we had understood how we can use the stat adjustment for you to manage your increase or decrease in input tax credit and reversal of input tax credit. Now we will see a couple of videos where we will cover the exceptions that you could encounter before you file your GST return. That means when you are viewing your GSTR1 or when you are viewing your GSTR 3B, you will have certain transactions not getting captured value in the respective table. And you will notice that there is this uncertain transactions where it says corrections required. So we will walk through all the exceptions that could appear. And most important thing that we will learn is what is the reason for these exceptions and how at the first instance we can avoid these exceptions. Nevertheless, if the exception is appearing, Tally is giving you the list of various nature of exceptions where the user can go and correct them from the exception list itself. So let's walk through the various exceptions that you could encounter. Let us go to Tally and experience these exceptions and understand how we can avoid these exceptions. Let us now quickly see some of the common errors that you could encounter where when you go to your GST return, it is going to show as exception or uncertain transaction. So this is the company who is a regular dealer and let us create a stock item and unit of measure. So we go to create. First, we create unit of measure. The symbol is numbers. The formal name is numbers. And now we have this list of unit quantity code specified by GST. So we have to now map this unit quantity code for GST purpose when we create our own unit of measure. Assume that by mistake or in a hurry, you would have just press enter and it would have got selected as not applicable. And let us see what happens. So you're going to accept this and we're going to create a stock item. So click on other masters, go to stock item, enter and let us create stock item A and the unit of measure we have already created. So we are going to attach to this. The rest of the configuration, we are taking it from the company or the stock group. We have already specified at the company level. So we are going to just accept this. Now let us pass a sale entry. Customers potential solutions, sales account, selecting stock item A. Let's say five numbers we are selling at 1500 rupees. And this party click here and press control enter. We will know that this customer is from Karnataka. He is a regular dealer and we have entered his GST. We are going to select CGST. Tax will get calculated automatically. Then SGST tax is calculated. Save this voucher control here. Now let us see the impact of this transaction in our GSTR1 return. Though we have passed an entry, if you notice here, tally is not reflecting the value under B2B invoice since we have made a B2B invoice. But then there is this caption which says uncertain transaction correction needed and it says the one entry that we have done, it is gone under uncertain transaction, which means there is something missing or we would have wrongly configured our master. So how do we handle this? So you really don't have to worry. All you need to do is just select the uncertain transaction here. And when you press enter, Tally is going to basically specify what is the nature of uncertain transaction or what is the nature of error that is being committed in this particular transaction related to the transaction or it could be related to master also. So you will see here uncertain transactions under GSTR1. The transactions with incomplete mismatch information is specified here and it also says invalid or missing information. That means there is some information is missing. What information is missing? It says UOM is not mapped with the unit quantity code, which is what just now I had mentioned. So it says your one transaction has come under exception. So how do we correct it? So you really don't have to worry, especially what happens when for the first time, if you are enabling GST and then when you are passing these transactions, 
with these uncertainties you might be wondering how are we going to correct these errors so that the value is getting reflected in the form so all you need to do is select the missing information caption and when you press enter tally is going to tell you the detail what is the detail of missing information or incomplete information it says the detail of uam is not mapped to the unit quantity code that means we had created a unit with the symbol of numbers we had specified the formal name as numbers but whereas the unit quantity code we did not map it so how do we map it all you need to do is just press enter tally is now going to take you to the field where the information is missing so here you have to just say nos so gst is also providing a unit quantity code with the unit as numbers so select this and effective date is going to be from 1st of april enter accept and you will observe that the error or the missing information we have corrected it and it is vanished just press escape again it, it is vanished and automatically now the value is getting captured under the b2b invoice so while creating the master this is important that you have to make sure that you are mapping the unit quantity code otherwise also when we come to the return tally will make sure that all relevant information that is required for a proper gst compliance is being captured let's go to another two simple mistakes that we could commit while capturing the transactions especially related to sale which is related to party master so first example we will take that we will create a new party and we will select the party as regular dealer but let's say for some reason we have not specified the gstin of that party let's see what happens in this situation so we are creating a customer called krishna enterprises we are selecting the state as karnataka and the registration type we are selecting as regular but we are not mentioning the gst so when you come here and when you press enter and if you leave this as blank tally is actually going to give you a warning saying that the gst is not specified let us say while creating the master we have overlooked this warning message and you just press enter and then save it let's pass a transaction for krishna enterprises so we go to voucher entry again this time we are going to select krishna enterprises sales ledger same item we are selecting five numbers so krishna enterprises is in karnataka so we are going to select cgst sgst and we are going to save this so let's go to gstr1 and see whether this value is getting captured in the respective table you will observe that under uncertain transaction this second sale entry that we have done is showing as correction needed so again you are going to enter here and this time it is going to tell you related to outward supply invalid or missing information what is the invalid or missing information gst registration detail of the party are invalid or not specified so we come down here again press enter and here there are two ways of correcting it so one is you press control enter and you can go to the master press control enter and you can specify here or all you need to do is just press enter now this is the party detail that we have captured during the transaction so you come down here and then we are going to specify the proper gstin of this party so once you enter here and accept if there is no error message that means the gstin we have entered is correct place of supply is karnataka accept and this is now the exception is rectified we will now see the two vouchers which are getting captured here since we have rectified the gstin part of it so if we select a customer ledger as a regular dealer we have to specify the gstin of this party it is very important because if we don't specify the gstn of the party then that party is not going to be eligible to claim the input tax credit and since it is a regular dealer while filing your gstr return if the party gstn is not specified the gstn return also will throw error that is why tally ensures that all relevant information for proper gst compliance is being taken care of so let's take one more use case of a party so we are creating another party as trident enterprises where the state is maharashtra enter and we are saying is a regular dealer and we are going to we are going to now specify the gst so while entering the gst the state code of maharashtra starts with 27 now instead of entering 27 let's say by mistake we have entered 29 and followed by the gst number enter the moment you enter tally is going to verify 
the state code that you have entered with the state code that is given for the state of Maharashtra. Since it is an error here, Tally is already warning you that there is mismatch or invalid GST has been entered. But let's say we have ignored this message, accept this and then you save this. Now we will pass another entry for Trident. We select Trident Enterprises, Sales Ledger, Stock Item A, 20 numbers we are selling, enter. And since Trident Enterprises is from Maharashtra, we are going to charge IGST, tax is getting calculated automatically and we are going to save this. So let's view GSTR1. Now the third entry that we have captured, it has gone under uncertain transaction because the error that we have committed in the state code. So how do we correct it? Press enter here. Again it says the GST registration detail of the party are invalid or not specified. So it is an invalid GST number that we have specified. Enter here enter here and now what we are going to do is we are going to now come down here and we are going to change this so we are going to say this as proper number as 27 enter and we accept this so now this is now taken care press escape but still the same error is getting repeated it says now if you notice the caption here is changed it reads like this it says mismatch in gst registration detail between the party and the transactions so so what we have done is we have now corrected this at the transaction subscreen so now we want to capture this information or capture the corrected GSTIN at the party master. Once it gets captured at the party master, then next time when you are passing the transaction, the same error is not going to repeat. So how do we do this? Right from here, from this exception caption, we can do that. Just press enter here and press enter here. And now this is the message it says that party GST registration detail. Okay, so the what is where is that you want to apply change we want to apply change from the transaction to the master if you observe here as per master the gst is still has the state code as 29 but whereas in the transaction we have corrected it so what we want to do is we want tally to push from the transaction the corrected information to the master how do we do that you will see here apply changes from you are seeing this just press one backspace now tally is asking you apply changes from master to transaction or transaction to master we want to now apply change from transaction to master press enter and again effective date you are going to select first of april accept now the error is taken care escape the value is captured here all three vouchers have now appearing in the respective table so we have to now see if tally is gone and corrected the proper state code of the master of trident enterprises so how do we see this again click on go to go to alter master select ledger and let us select trident enterprises and if you observe here tally is automatically corrected the proper gstin of trident enterprises as per the maharashtra state code of so next time as i mentioned you will not get the same error of gstin missing or wrong gstin number there are many more uncertain transaction or exceptions which are there in the subsequent videos we will cover a couple of more exceptional use cases how we can handle them i hope this video would have given you a fair idea of how you can actually avoid these exceptions and also in case if these exceptions are appearing then you would we also learned how we can go and rectify them from the report itself so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much